Hello and welcome to Flory Models Tool Review Day again. So what we got down in here is Dispay's latest paintbrush system, which basically has got interchangeable heads. Again, something I haven't really seen before. I've seen it a couple of times in the past, but it's never really worked. So I thought we'd have a look at these ones and we can see exactly what we've got. So down below here, you can probably see we've got a couple of different things going on. So we've got the, uh, these ones here, FBTE01 and FBTE02. E02. We've got, uh, and then this is U01 and U02, and then we've got 2-0, a 3-0, a 4-0, and a 5-0, obviously getting finer and finer. So biggest at the top, smallest down. They're not totally interchangeable as you might think, because also we've got these here, which I'm hoping this is. So this is the FB01 uh, brush. So this one, let me get it out of here as you can see, is Dispay's normal, beautifully done piece. So actually what you've got here is a metal handle. All right, and we've got a, a head in here as well. So a nice small one, which I assume is probably one of their smallest ones they do, the O1. And then actually what you've got is a, a metal, very, very nice piece. All right, and you've got a situation down in here. So we've got a spring in here where it pushes back onto this, I do believe. Yeah, there we go. So we've got a spring in there. So they're sort of spring loaded how they all go in. All right, because they're going to be pushing onto it. So you've got one handle here. And again, down here at the back, you can change the end, as you can see, to what size brush you've got in it. So you've got an 04, we've got an 05, and then we're back to a 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So you can rotate the top to let you know which one you've actually got in here like this and then I assume what you do you come in with your your brush like this you unscrew the end I assume you take I don't know but this I don't think the spring can stay in there surely because it's not going to push out the end but you never know we can try it so I assume you pop the end off this goes down and in is it this is one of these where this is like the blind leading the blind here Oops, this goes in here comes down the end, screw in the back. This is gonna push tension down onto this. And there we have our, and that's in there. That's not gonna move the actual brush itself. So you come along, you say, well, this is my point one in here, whatever it is, or point two. So you put a point two at the end and that's your brush and you're set and ready to go. And obviously you've got a little protector, which I assume will still fit on here. No, it's not. So the brush protector is not going to fit on. So you've got no way of protecting this when it's in. But the whole idea is that these ones are actually quite modular. So again, we've got all the different ones down in here. So if we pick up one of these, open off the tent, comes in a pack. So we've got three other ones just down in here as well. All right, so you've got the different size ones. So if you wanted to interchange it, you just clean your brush as you normally would do. Whip the back out. Pop the brush back through, change out the head, got a slightly bigger one this time. Pop that down into there. Spring goes in the back, so that's just going to hold it in place, and we go in. And this is obviously a powder coated, beautifully done brush. And to be honest, the brushes, I'm no expert on paint brushes, as probably a lot of you know, but that actually feels really very, very nice indeed. All right, so you've got all interchangeable heads then, just like that. So you're just buying these instead of an entire paintbrush. And again, these are metal as well, I assume these are aluminium, judging by the weight. So again, fully recyclable, just like that. So that's quite nice. Then we've got these two here. So this is the uh, FB, and we've got one here, and this is the, B, uh, the uh, TB. So again, we've got a situation where we've got down on here uh, the different sizes. So let me just move this one out of the way, if we get these out of the box. These are not, these are more akin to plastic. The end off. All right, so these are plastic ones. So this is the big one. So I assume that's the big old holder in here. So it's the same thing, but it's in plastic. So you're just gonna pop the brushes in the end. All right, so that's the big one in there like that. All right, you've also got, get rid of that static, set of stickers. So if you wanted to, you could actually put a sticker onto this so you know exactly what size one you've got on or obviously onto the other bits. So this is the bigger one. So I assume this is one here. So this is an E2 brush size. 
So we've got some nice flat headed brushes in here like this. So I assume then, if I have got them around the right way, I don't know, let me get the other one out just in case, because obviously one is bigger than the other. So again, I assume we've still got stickers. So these are slightly different in size again. So you can just see the difference in them. And I assume some of these will push over the end and just go on like this onto the handle. So that's actually quite a nice touch. So this one, you don't unscrew it to put it in. It just goes over there for the big ones. Again, it's a nice flat brush. We just get it going. That actually feels really nice, very smooth. So again, this one, I don't know how well it fits with a, yeah, we've got good clearance up the top. Bristles are protected, which is the main thing, to be honest, we want them to be protected. You can obviously run it the other way if you want more of it into your hand, just like this. That's quite a nice, easy way for changing over the heads. And then again, you can protect them just like that. And then these ones here, I assume, are for this one in here. So again, making sure there's, there's a little bit of swath in there more than anything. Uh, we have got a spring as well. So if you wanted to, you can take the smaller ones and these will drop into here. They come through just like this. And we get our spring. Spring goes in and goes in here. And there we go. So if you wanted to, you've got an option between the very nice metal display handle with a twisty on the end here, or a more affordable, this is just a plastic one. And again, nice touch to it is. We can just come along, I assume, and we can put it on top. The tops are near to each other. Oh, I haven't got it. There we go. Lock it in the right way might help. And again, protecting those bristles at the end. So these are plastic. And then the idea being is, if you're always going to run, I don't know, a number two or one or whatever into it, you can just put a sticker onto this one and do it that way. All right, so you've got a nice option. So if you wanted to, you could pop it in like that. Or as you say, this one over here, this one comes with them as well. And these are all your sizes for them. You can just pop them in there like that. And again, you've got the one where if you wanted to, you can have this one as well and go through. It's a shame this actually hasn't got a top on it because if you had a cover for it, you could put a cover on it. And I'm sure one of these would probably, which it will do, protect it just like that. So you could pop it on, but it's a shame it hasn't got a proper click top one. But the nice one with this one, obviously you can dial them around. And again, this is their system. So again, you've got all the different size brushes in here as well. And again, my only query is sometimes like this one, they do have a habit of falling off their little plastic sleeve. So you wanna make sure that they're all tucked in, but you've got all different ones in here. So if you wanted to swap out this one, for instance, we can just come along here. We've got a smaller one. And you've got that on there, just like that. It's a quick, simple, easy way to do it. All right, so again, something a little bit different from our friends. And again, it's one of those things you never knew you needed. And again, we've got all the different size brushes down in here as well, which I will get out and you can see them. So again, something just a little bit different with all the different size uh, heads and all the rest of it in here. As I say, some of them are really, really big. Some of them are quite small. So again, depending on what your requirement is. So yeah, we've got all the different sizes, as I say, down in here. Some of them are flat tops. Some of them are obviously on a, uh, you know, more rounded like this one here, so forth and so on right the way through. So we've pretty much got you covered on whichever ones you need.